In this example, we're going to take an expression that has several logs. We have the sum and difference, several logs, and we're going to condense it and write it as a single log. So the first step is to use this property, which says the coefficient or the number in front can be brought up as an exponent. So we bring this up as an exponent, we get the log of x cubed. Let me just point out here, notice there's no number down here for the base. That means the base is 10, it's a common log. But anyways, so we do that. Bring the half up as a power, we get the log of y to the half. And then I'm going to leave this as a negative, and then just bring the 2 up, z to the 2. The reason I leave that as a negative is because now we can write this as a single log. The positive logs, they go in the top. So x to the 3 and y to the half goes in the numerator. The logs that are subtracted, this is called the argument, but this goes in the denominator. And that's it, that's your answer. So we now have a single log. So the next, I'll do another example doing the same thing except I'll use a natural log. That will begin the video that follows.